Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor and welcome back to my video series on the Wii Shop channel, uh, Video Archive. And in this video, part 2, I'm going to be continuing on from page 6 of the Wii Shop channel menu, adding Wii Points. Uh, select Add Wii Points on the Wii Shop channel to reach the Add Wii Points screen. There are some countries that do not support purchase of Wii Points for the credit card. Uh, consumers in these countries will be taken directly to the screen for redeeming a Wii Points card. Points may be used only on a single Wii console or a Nintendo DSi TM system and cannot be shared between Wii Shop channel and Nintendo DSi Shop accounts. Uh, upon redeeming a Wii Points card, its full amount must be immediately applied to either a Wii Shop channel or a Nintendo DSi Shop account. So. You select this option if you want to use your credit card to buy Wii Points, or select this option if you want to redeem a Wii Points card. The current Wii Points balance is here, go back is here, and there's information about it here. And um, I might try to make this a little bit bigger, I don't know if I can or not, but to try to show what the Wii Points cards used to look like. I, I bought one a while back to um, buy... Super Mario World, but I don't know where that card is anymore. More information over here. Um, if Wii Points are purchased with a credit card, you can confirm the itemized receipt on the account activity screen. You can also use a Nintendo Points card or a Nintendo DSi Points card to add Wii Points. It's really nice that Nintendo kind of combined them with the 3DS and the Wii U so that they're both eShop cards so that there's less confusion. You cannot add Wii Points using a Nintendo 3DS prepaid card. You can give Wii friends who are registered to the same country as your Wii a downloadable a, a gift of downloadable Wii software. You can't give gifts to Wii friends with Wii consoles registered in other countries. Before you can give a gift to someone, you must register that person as a Wii friend on your Wii console. For more details on registering Wii friends, refer to the Wii message board section of the Wii operations manual. Sending a gift. Point to the gift option and press A, right down here. The controller conf confirmation screen will appear. Select OK to confirm the software to be sent and its compatible controllers. After confirming the software to be sent and its compatible controllers, your list of Wii friends will appear. Select the Wii friend you want to send a gift. Yeah, I said that correctly. Next, you'll be taken to the message composition screen. Here, you can write a message and attach a me to send along with your gift. To send a me along with your gift, Select the portrait next to attach a me and choose a me. To enter a message, put your cursor in the white put your cursor in the right a message box. Press A and write your message. I assume the keyboard would show up at that point. Once you're ready to continue, select OK to move to the gift confirmation screen. Select yes to send your gift. Receiving a gift. The disk slot on your Wii console will flash when you receive a message announcing the arrival of a gift. From the Wii menu, select the Wii message board icon. The Wii message board icon, Wii message board will be displayed, this icon right here. View the message from the person who gave you a gift by pointing at the message and pressing A. Select the start icon to enter the Wii shop channel and bring up a screen confirming the contents of your gift. Accepting a gift. Select receive. The selection confirmation screen will appear. After verifying the compatible controllers, select OK to go to the download confirmation screen. Here you can choose to download the software now or later. You can download the gift to Wii system memory or an SD card. If downloading to an SD card, be sure to insert the SD card into the Wii console's SD card slot beforehand. See here's what the thing shows up as. You have a receive button and a return button. Select now to download the software immediately. 
Select later to download your gift software from the titles you've downloaded option on the main menu of the Wii Shop channel. After downloading the software or choosing to download it later, a message, a message composition screen will appear. Enter your message, then select OK with A to send the message. Returning a gift. Select return. A confirmation screen will appear. Select yes. Next, a message composition screen will appear. Enter your message, then select OK with A to send the message. All Wii points spent on the software will be returned to the purchaser's account. Additional information concerning gifts. You will not be able to send the software you've selected as a gift if the recipient already has that software on their Wii console. Some software can't be sent to others, other users. If the user receiving the gift has enabled parental controls, that restrict access to the software you have gifted. The recipient will not be able to receive their gift until the parental controls pin has been entered. For more details, see the parental controls section of the Wii Operations Manual. If a gift is not accepted within 45 days of being spent, it will automatically be returned. All Wii points spent on the software will be returned to the purchaser's account. Account Activity to access your account activity information, point at Account Activity on the main menu of the Wii Shop channel and press A. Account Activity lists all of the transactions that you have made in the Wii Shop channel, such as software downloads and Wii Points purchases. Point to the software title and press A to display the details screen. If you have deleted software, you can you can download it again here. You can download it again for free, provided that you have not deleted your Wii Shop channel account. Point at the credit card button and press A to display an itemized receipt. There may be cases in which a software title has been cancelled or removed without prior notification. If this happens, uh, you will not be able to re-download that title. Titles you have downloaded. To access a list of software titles you have downloaded, point at titles you've downloaded on the main menu of the Wii Shop channel and press A. Here, you can re-download software that was deleted from your Wii console, or download updated software for free. Point at software titles that appear as downloadable and press A to view more information. Then, you can choose to select Download or Update on the Details screen. There may be cases in which a software title has been cancelled or removed uh, without prior notification. If this happens, you will not be able to re-download that title. Settings and Features To access various options within the Wii Shop channel, point at Settings and Features on the main menu of the Wii Shop channel and press A. Here you can link your Club Nintendo account, adjust gift settings, redeem a Wii download token, Wii download ticket, or remove your Wii Shop channel account. So you scroll through the list with the um, scroll bar right here. You can jump down to Input a Wii download ticket code, um, link your Club Nintendo account, adjust gift settings, or there's one below it and that says to remove your Wii Shop channel account. Down here is to go back to the previous screen and that's your current Wii Points balance. Linking your Club Nintendo account. Club Nintendo members can link, link their membership to their Wii Shop channel account to automatically register Wii Shop channel downloads to their Club Nintendo account. By linking your Club Nintendo username, you will be able to participate in a variety of activities, promotions, and programs. Please review the Wii Privacy Policy for more information on linking, linking accounts. If you've forgotten your Club Nintendo username or password, please visit http, http colon slash slash club.nintendo.com and use the forgot username or password feature. Unlinking your Club Nintendo account. You can unlink your Club Nintendo account from your Wii Shop channel account at any time. But I don't know if you can anymore since Club Nintendo isn't a thing. By doing so, your Club Nintendo account will remain intact at club.nintendo.com. If you do unlink your Club Nintendo account, you can always relink it to your Wii Shop channel account later, except in the case of it of Club Nintendo being shut down.
Yeah. Gift settings. You can change the option for the Wii Shop channel to automatically receive, receive, or block, don't receive all incoming gifts. About Wii download, to Wii download tickets. Wii download tickets may f be found packaged with select retail software, and they contain unique codes that allow you to download specific software titles. To redeem a Wii download ticket, go to the Wii Shop channel main menu and select settings and features. Then select Wii download ticket. From this screen, input your 16-digit Wii download ticket code and follow the on-screen instructions to continue. I don't think I'm actually going to be reading most of this, so I might just be going through it like this so that you can pause it if you want to read it. I kind of did this with the DSi shop as well. I'm going to scroll now. Okay, now you can pause it if you want to. Now I'm going to be scrolling. Caution, once your Wii Shop channel account has been removed, you will not be able to recover it. That's very important. Now I'm going to the next page. Parental controls. I'm probably not going to be reading this out loud as well. Um, I kind of want to get through the list of um, information in here, so I'm going to be pausing this, or so you can pause it if you want to read it. I'm going to start scrolling now. Wait, hold on. Okay. Now you can pause it if you want to read it. Now I'm going to scroll. Okay, here's the bottom of the page. Oh, here is customer support information for each of the publishers. Um, okay, I'm just gonna be scrolling down you can pause it and if you want to read it. Oh, Commodore! Oh yeah, there's Commodore 64 uh, games for the Nintendo Wii. Game Freak had game support by Sega of America. That's really weird because Game Freak is the kind of the Pokemon company, which is a Nintendo company, and then having support be handled by Sega. Um, huh. Okay. I miss Hudson Soft. I really like it that they actually have logos of each of them. Oh, Lucas Arts, that's neat. I like it that they have colorful logos of each company rather than just the name of the company on um Like on the DSi shop. Oh. This logo right here kind of looks like the um, Intel GPU, the blue Intel GPU that they were um, going to be making. So I'm going to go back. So this should be the end of. Oh. Oh, you can push right and left to go forward and backward. I didn't know that. So I'm gonna go back. Okay, now here's the Wii Shop channel. Now I'm going to be showing a few things that I just remembered um, before I started recording this video. So up here at Wii Shop channel, press A on it, and then it will a thing. It'll go back to the home screen. I didn't, I never actually knew that. I never really used Wii Shop Channel that much. If we go up here and actually, we can push left and right to go back and forth. 
Um, oh, some demos. Uh, let's go under Wii Shop Channel Recommended Titles. So you can click this, and then it does, it goes into this list here. And I'm gonna go back. Oh wait. Also, it does the same thing if you go, like, up here. It just goes to a catalog. If we push the eject looking button, it goes back to the regular Wii Shop channel menu. Go into here, push the question mark. It goes into the guide. Um, if I start shopping, click on my Wii points, I can't. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, um... I'll see you in part three, where I'll actually be going through settings and features, titles you've downloaded, and account activity. Goodbye for now.